Hello guys, welcome back to programming with Rana Vakas. In my previous tutorial, I taught you about static keyword that where we can use this static keyword and what is the purpose uh, behind this static keyword. So in my today's tutorial, I will tell you about access operators. That which of access operators you can use in C++. Uh, so you can use dot operator to access the data members or uh, the member variables. Uh, of the class and uh, you can also use the arrow operators this arrow operator is basically uh, dash and uh, this greater than sign so by using these these two alphabets you can make this arrow operator so let's discuss when you use this dot operator and when you use this arrow operator to access the uh, different methods of the class so just declare an object of student class let's suppose the object is s uh, so let's call its overloaded uh, function so overloaded function will take argument of integer type and string type so just write here 12 and write here the name of student let's suppose the student is run uh, so let's call the method of display uh, of this class s dot display so as you can see here you you are using dot operator why you are using dot operator because this s is not a pointer this is an object so let's run this code you will see here student information id 12 name rana vakas so what what if if i made here student type pointer let's suppose the pointer is ptr s pointer s pointer s will store the address of this object so as you know uh, what are pointers if you don't know what are pointers so you can go into the description i have put uh, my an other tutorial link uh, in the description in which you can learn about pointers and uh, reference so you can store the address of this s object into this pointer s so to store the address you have to write here pointer s is equal to m percent s so now if you want to display the information of this s object by using pointer s so you will call here display method uh, but not using this dot operator you will do, uh, use this uh, dash and greater than sign uh, means arrow operator so just go right here display so run the code you will see the output so as you can see the output is same so now let's suppose you want to uh, get the object value by using this pointer as so let's suppose i made here a pointer uh, made here an object as two and you want to store the object value into this as two so just write here static ptr as so you can call here s2 dot display these will be values of s2 not s basically compiler is calling here copy constructor so if you don't know about copy constructor go into my description and click on the link of copy constructor you will go into the tutorial of copy constructor which i taught in my previous lectures so just comment this line and run the code again so you will see here student information so let's change the value of this s2 dot set uh, id so i write here id 15 so it will it will not change the value of s because you are changing the value of s2 so let's call s dot display so you will see 12 and run our cars so what if i uh, right here pointer s arrow set id 15 or a set id 17 so now the value of s will be changed because this pointer s is pointing basically s and you are changing the value of this s by using this pointer s and now you are writing here s dot display by using this s or object you are going to display the value of s so you can see here the value of id has been changed by using this so guys i hope you are now clear about access operators the access, uh, two types of access operators the one is used for direct objects and the one is used uh, with the pointers 
so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video if you have any question so write your question in the comment section i will answer